If you're new to the channel, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And if you're a returning subscriber, yes, baby, we back again with another video. <laughs> ah! So, <coughs> anyway, what's this now? Uh, anyway, so as you read from the title, guys, today I'm going for my second or final ultrasound because. I'm ready to pop out this baby because ma'am i want my body back i want to be a patty and yeah so yeah i'm about to go to my mom works work work ha. i'm about to go to my mom's workplace and then from there we're gonna go to the hospital do ultrasound confirm the baby's gender because the last time the doctor said maybe so yeah that's what's gonna happen and yeah man am i happy to go to the hospital hell no and then probably i don't know if you're gonna chill afterwards or come back home because but yeah, either way i just thought let me vlog this last moment before i meet my baby you guys don't don't understand how excited i am to be a mom i mean i'm young whatsoever but but i'll do a story time telling you guys everything but as for now i need to go don't wanna party things felt like i'm ready to bend i'm a 10 so i pull in a can like daddy Oh, 
No, it's never been better than the summer of 2002 Ooh, We were only 11 But acting like grown-ups like we are in the present Drinking from plastic cups, singing love is forever and ever well, I guess that was true mm. Dancing in the hood in the middle of the woods On an old Mustang where we sang Songs with all our childhood friends And it went like this, say, oops, I got 99 probably singing by Fast forward to 18, we are more than lovers Yeah, we are all we need when we're holding each other I'm taking back to 2000 Ben wanting to give you guys an update about what happened at the Delta and everything You guys just been really, really, really busy So, the first vlog when I said I went to my first ultrasound checkup and everything we went there and uh, um the doctor said we're having a female we're having a girl so in my head like i already planned for a baby girl and everything and guess what happened guess what happened and you know a part of me knew this was gonna happen as much as i wanted a baby girl and everything i knew Jorge, it might not be a girl because I remember every time I would tell my mom, okay, you know what, if I buy girl clothes now, and this girl comes out as a boy, we go rock at the heaven. This boy's going to rock heaven's pink clothes and everything. So, after my second checkup, we asked to see the gender again. Because the last time the doctor said, 98%, 99%, it's a girl. So, still there was that 1%, that 2% that we're not sure about. So, we didn't want to start buying things before we knew the gender. So, alright, me, I'm going to the doctor. Oh my god, I'm having a girl. We're gonna have two ponytails. We're gonna be matching. 
heated in there. <laughs> we asked to see the gender. Guess what? Guess what? Baby and the RMX. mix. Me. Me girl. Nah, girl. Nah. Baby and the decided how is it again? So now I'm gonna be doing a Me. I'm a boy. So guys, the offi the official lucky. So the final gender is we're not having a girl, we're having a boy. So at first I was like a boy. I really never saw myself as a boy mom, but two minutes after finding out, like the first two minutes I was like disappointed like a boy. But two minutes after I was like a boy. Like like you understand, I'm gonna be on I'm gonna be watching soccer matches. I'm probably gonna be that mom who pulls up, who brings like call bring like juice for the whole team type of vibe. So yeah, I just want to give you an update on that. And I'm literally eight months, so it means anything might happen and we might actually pop out this baby anytime. So guys but I'm also excited because I don't wanna I don't wanna make it like sound in a bad way, but me personally, I'm tired of being pregnant. And again, that's the update. That's what happened at the doctor. So another thing is just not this video is not sponsored by the way, but another thing is we literally got a baby bag from Germs, medical aid germs so we got this and i removed everything inside because i don't i don't want to use this bag for my hospital bag like as much as i want to say thank you to germs i feel like the colors are not covering and this baby bag came with like a few things so i'm gonna show you guys it came with this i feel like if a medical aid sends me this, it means it's really, really good. So I think I'm going to use this for my baby. And I'll just see how it, like, more So firstly, we got this baby bum cream. For those little small bummies, we have two of them. Baby bum cream. And then, I haven't really looked at these things. And then we have a nipple cream. It's probably if I'm breastfeeding. And then what's this? Baby Aquas. Oh, and then we have my god, my last and closest kind of but anyway, and then we have baby aquas cream like a mini for me boy. And then you have also a big baby aquas cream. So I really think I'm gonna stick to this. And then we have wipes. So and then we went to Eclipse and then we bought this. A breast pump but this is not an electric one i wanted like a one way black iron and stuff so i am gonna be breastfeeding for those who's asking i want my baby to basically to grow the right way so definitely gonna buy another one but this is breast pump and then we also have this breast pads because i'm gonna be breastfeeding so yeah guys so that's it from the doctor and that's it from me. So <laughs>
when I mean my stomach literally dropped. It dropped like the beer was about to come out. But the crazy part is my water didn't break. But my stomach dropped. So it was an emergency because it was like a life or death situation. Because, <laughs> like thinking about it, low-key freaks me out. But, yeah, hey guys, sometimes you just really need to sit down and thank God for what you're getting your power. If this wasn't for you, I don't think I would have been here. I would have made it because what the doctor say is, if I gave birth that day, it was either... I was going to lose the baby or the baby was going to lose me so what i'm trying to say is that i almost died so thinking about it just gives me anxiety because what do you mean i almost died? what do you mean my baby almost died because Nine months is not easy. <laughs> Nine months is not easy. Not being able to tie your own shoes is not easy. Not being able to lift up your like leg is not easy. Not being able to pick things up is not easy. So, just thinking about losing my life or losing my baby sounded insane. I remember lying on that bed and praying. And I was like, God... If this is my time, then so be it. But if not, God, I pray for protection. I pray for you to pull me out of this situation because the devil is a liar. I prayed, I prayed, I prayed, and literally the contractions was there. I was in so much pain. You know, literally just want to say shout out to all the women that gave birth naturally without any pain medication because sana the pain that i was feeling i was feeling so much pain to a point where i was like uh, so yo so i was just there praying here and i was like uh, i feel like this is such a sensitive to topic to me but like i said my channel is about growth is about laughter and i did say i'm gonna be as honest hey so i'ma be as honest as i honest 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 i'ma try and show you guys my life as it is so i'ma be 100 percent real with you guys so this is me being real telling you how i almost lost my life how do i feel about that anxious because what do you mean i almost lost my life i'm not even 25 what do you mean i almost lost my life so Oh man, I remember sitting there and I prayed for if If not, the devil is a liar. And guess what? The devil was a liar. Because after praying there, the contraction stopped. And then the doctor came and he's like, mm -mm, you just have low iron. That's why the baby dropped. You don't have enough blood. Hey, hey. Gave me blood medication and then they told me mm -mm, the contraction has stopped and I'm not gonna give birth. So I literally almost gave birth. Doesn't sound real, but I also couldn't believe it because because my due date gave the 26th of June, so it's literally like a month apart. Like 29, 26 is like. So that's what happened, guys. So I feel like I don't have that energy I always have on my vlogs. Cause how do I go? F like how should I vlog with energy when someone just told me I almost lost my life? I'm looking still traumatized, still trying to adjust what just happened. Thinking how I went through shit my whole pregnancy, and when it's about to end, I'm going through something again. So I'm just here, like. Really, can this end now? Can I just hold my baby? Because what the actual? But anyway, guys, if you enjoyed the video, I know I'm not 
myself at the moment but this is just me trying to be real with you guys so if you enjoyed my video please don't forget to like comment and subscribe and for love is i'll see you guys in my next video love you guys so much